everybody. My name is Gail and I'm coming to you from Laconia Public Library with this week's craft, which is royal crowns. We're going to have a great time. I would make a great empress of the universe or queen because I'm so fair and beautiful and I love jewels. So I would treat all my subjects lovely. So we've given out a lot of crown kits this week. And if you missed out on it, you could give us a call and we can still put one out for you. And next week, we are having Painted Magical Creatures. We have a limited number of those kinds of kits, but there's still time to call and sign up for those if you want to. Those are ceramic magic plates, and you can make them and decorate them with jewels and things like that. You'll have a good time anyway. Today's craft is super easy. And we're going to make crowns and decorate them. So let me tell you about some of the books that could go with this that you could check out from the library. This is a new version of King Arthur's Stories. Um, it's illustrated by N.C. Wyan, Wyan. And this particular one is by Sidney Lanier. It's an absolutely beautiful book. The whole thing is just beautiful. It even feels really nice. Um, there are many, many, many King Arthur stories and some of his Knights of the Round Table. I keep missing the pictures. But the pictures are beautiful. This is for an older reader, unless you want to read it as a family. That would be a great one to read and share with your family so we don't lose out on our great story time lore, storytelling lore. One for the other end of the group, Prince Cinders by Babette Cole. This is hysterical. Um, Prince Cinders likes to clean the house. He's very good at it, but he has those nasty, nasty relatives. There's the party that they're attending, the ball. This was a lot of fun, and you really don't want to miss this story. We'll be featuring this during story time. We also have this one, which is absolutely beautiful. And Jamie and I didn't know it. A castle full of cats. You know cats are royal anyways because they, they demand being treated that way. The king doesn't like cats. The queen loves cats. And unfortunately for the king, the queen has a lot of cats and the king kept, keeps getting stuff, he keeps stepping on them. But the queen thinks they're wonderful. It's a great story. And find out what happens and whether they resolve this in a castle full of cats. This one probably is my favorite. If you've seen the movie Boss Baby or read the books about Boss Baby, um, this one's very similar. This is King Baby. Um, it is good to be the king. This little guy acts like every baby that I know. He wants what he wants and he doesn't want to be told no or anything else. So you have to make him happy. What happens when he grows up? You'll have to read it to find out. This one, just fun, just fun. Also great pictures, King Bid Goods in the Bathtub by Audrey and Don Wood. Um, King Bid Good doesn't want to get out of the bathtub. He wants everybody to come in with him to share the bath. Good story about funny royalty. Uh, this one's a true story, a nonfiction. The Tudors, kings, queens, and scribes, and ferrets. Hmm. It's written and illustrated by Marshall Williams and lots of good information. If you like to know about royalty, this is an interesting one. This one is one I read every year because who doesn't need a friend? May I Bring a Friend by Beatrice Shank de Reginet. And this one was a Call the Cop book for great pictures and also a great rhyming story. And the last one, can't help but like this one. Cornelia Funk's The Princess Pigsty. Guess where she lives. Can you figure it out just from the title? But she doesn't want to dress up. She doesn't want to. The king wants her to act like a real princess. But she likes making a mess and cooking in the kitchen and everything else like that. And basically turning herself into a pigsty. Does she get to do that? I don't know, you'll have to read the story. Those are all great books available for you at the library. 
So now we're going to make our crowns. I have to have a blue one. We've given out blue and yellow and orange and pink and green. I think that's pretty, oh, purple. There was a couple of purple ones. So for this craft, which is made with foam, you have to start by taking it apart. It's kind of a weird way to start, but we have all these nifty little pieces that come out of it. So I'm gonna do that first. And if you have yours in front of you, that would be a good time to take them apart. And some of them are different shapes. Some of them have um, diamonds on them. This one has triangles for the, whatever these things are called. I don't know what they're called. But they're kind of cool. I always wanted to have a crown. I've been looking at crowns online, not to buy, but from Queen Elizabeth. She's been lending out her royal jewelry to some of the other people in the royal family for weddings. I think Beatrice just borrowed one of Queen Elizabeth's crowns for her wedding. So that was the easy part. Now I'm going to take apart some of these little things. Um, there's a ton of them. I don't know if I'm going to use them all, but I'm going to take them apart right now. And these are the pieces that we can put on. Maybe I'll peel the back first if I can. So I don't have to peel each one individually. Here we go. It peels apart. That will make it a little sticky. Sticky and sticking to my fingers. Some of them aren't coming off. That's kind of weird. So I guess I'm going to have to decide which of these I want to put on. Sticky, sticky, sticky. Maybe I won't even need glue for this. I brought regular glue and hot glue. But I'm only using going to use the hot glue because it won't it takes a while to dry with the Elmer's glue. Sticky, 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 sticky. And then I can put my jewels on. And then I can wear my crown. If you have a hot glue gun, you're welcome to do that with your parents. They should do the hot glue part and you should do the sticking if you can. But these are all safe to use. No problem at all. So I happen to have some orange ones to put on my blue crown. Now it's a question of where do I want to put things? Oops. Let's stick into this whole thing. Oh my goodness. And then I'm going to put some beautiful jewels on. Did you pick which jewels out of your jewel bag that you wanted to use? Because I picked some too. It's kind of interesting that the shapes, this one's a diamond shape. So my spokes on my crown are triangles. And there's a triangle in the middle and some circles. So I'm going to use some of these things in a different way. I'm going to put them on the bottom. You can put them wherever you want to, but I'm going to try this because there's all kinds of sticky shapes that I can put on here. Um, I think I'm going to do a couple more diamondy kind of shapes. It's not quite exactly a diamond. Mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. Put it on this way. You don't have to match. It's not a requirement. You get to decide where you want your sticky things. They're supposed to look like jewels because they have glitter on them. I'm going to stick mine on in lots of different places. Some of them match and some of them don't. I think I'm actually going to change where if I can peel it off. I don't know if I can. Can I peel it off now that I got it? Oh, look at that. I can peel it off. So I'll put it on this side. There we go. And then I can put this one right in the middle. One of the nice things about doing a craft like this is the fact that you can do a craft like this. Any age kid could do this kind of craft. And it's kind of cool. So we have circles and triangles and squares put a few more on. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to put one of these squares on the sixth spoke. But I'm make, turning it sideways so it looks like a diamond. And I think I want a couple of triangles. These are beautiful. They're so sparkly. I like sparkly. And I'm going to put 
those in between. One. I'm gonna try to peel my finger. I'm gonna try to peel things off my finger in a minute. I feel like I've been playing glue. So I don't know what kind of glue they use, but it's pretty darn sticky. Oops. It's just it's just fun to do. So I don't know if I'm gonna use any more of these stickers for right now. But I'm gonna stick to them. I'm gonna turn them face up and try not to stick myself. My goodness, that's a hard time. And it's all fine. Okay, so here we go. Okay, got all those on there. It's pretty festive so far. Having a great time. Love doing crafts. Absolutely love it. So I do have the hot glue gun so I can put it on before 8 million years from now. And I'm just going to put some dabs on and put some of my jewels on. And some, I also had a couple of shells, little tiny shells. And I thought that would be a nice addition because Jamie and I were talking about, I don't know who, I know who the kings of the sea are, Neptune and... Triton. Tri no, Triton is what Triton is what we had. Um, it was Neptune and No, oh, Triton is the, the, the Trident. That's the Trident that he carries yeah. that has. What was his name was Triton? Aerial Spotter. Nope. Oh, no, 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 Neptune and no, I'll think of it. <laughs> I'll think of it. So I kinda like those. So I put the shell on and I'm gonna put some Dabo glue and put some of my jewels on. Everybody got some jewels. And put them so that they match on both sides. And then I'll be, because I don't have like a half a day to let it dry, um, I will do the hot, that's why I'm doing the hot glue. Because if you're using Elmer's, it takes a lot longer to dry. And that's okay. It can be a patience thing. You can use a little patience and wait for your stuff to dry. And I'm going to do a couple more. And then I'm probably going to use some of the little beads. Because I really like jewels. And I would like to have a lot of jewelry on mine. Remember, if you're using hot glue, that parents need to help with this. It's really important. Really, really important. I'm just going to hot glue down for a minute. So, so far, this is what mine looks like. It's quite beautiful and fetching. Now I'm going to use some of the smaller beads. I really like these beads. Like I said, somebody donated, I think she was 94 years old, and she had all these beautiful beads literally thousands or millions of them. I don't know. We have so many containers on them. And it's so nice to be able to use these on our projects because they're just fun and there's so many of them. So where do I start? I start with choosing. Okay. I have two really nice, they're multi-sided beads. I'm going to put one on each side of my middle I'm going to try not to drop my finger in the hot glue. Just put that One, two, three, go. Beautiful. Let's see, do I have any other matching ones? That I, I really like when they match from side to side. Ooh, there's two good ones. Pinky ones. I love pink. I think I've told you before that it's my favorite color. What's your favorite color? You can let us know. And when you're done making your crown, you could certainly send us a picture of it because we'd love to see how yours comes out. We like to see how all of your projects come out because it's really cool for us to get these things out and get back pictures of fabulous artwork. So like I said, the Elmer's will work, but you have to let it sit for probably one day. 
and be generous about it. You don't have to um, just use a dab of glue. You can use a lot of glue when you do this. The Elmers won't give you any ouches. Go. I mean, if you're really ambitious, you could do a ton of glue. I think a ton of glue is great. Uh, let's see what else we can put on here. There's a really cool rock. I don't know where to put that, but it needs to go on here someplace. I don't know, maybe it's a bead. Yeah, I guess it is a bead. It has a hole in it. Um, I really like it. So I think I'm just going to stick it right in the middle of these two yellow flat marble things because it's just too cool to waste. There we go. And <laughs> you know, put some more beads out. I hope when you're doing this you're having a good time and anybody that's little needs to be watched with these beads because you need to make sure that they don't put them in their mouth or their nose or anything because that would be icky. We don't want anything like that to happen. Hmm. Sequins go on dancing outfits when you are in a dance show. You might get sequins on your outfits. I'm sticking to it. There's a blue one. And another blue one. Okay, I found two blue ones and a red one. I like those very much. something different. Um, a couple of little clear beads. Those are nice. And the red sequin. I really like the red sequin. Wish I had the sequin separated, but we don't. I can't wait to try this on. It's going to be stellar. It's going to be royal. Regal, lovely, mm -hmm. fabulous. Fit for a queen. Fit for a queen, that's right. <laughs> and that's what I feel like today. I don't know if I'm going to do any more. You can do lots more if you want. I just, like I said, I like mine to match. So I think maybe I'm going to stop there and let's see. It would be pretty much dry. That's pretty cool. So it has little tabs on it, and those go together. Double side sticky tape on them. I'm going to try to get this on the first time. Hmm. There's another double side sticky tape. There we go. Here we go. I'm going to try to do it now. I'm trying not to get anything stuck to my head. A lot of glue springs here. <laughs> What do you think? Do I look queenly or emperorsly? I'm thinking I look fabulous. I'm sure all of you do too. Would you please send us pictures and let us know if we can post those on the Laconia Library website because we'd love to see what you do too. Had a great time doing this. Save your, your bags of jewels. Um, in case you want to use some next week for the Painted Magical Creatures, you can glue those on. And like I said, don't forget to call us and get a magical creature put aside for you. If you had paint from one of the other projects, if you got some paint from the dinosaur, not dinosaur, um, dragon eggs, you can still use that paint and that paintbrush to work on your magical creatures. And we'll 
of story time on Thursday. And next week, Wild Life Encounters. Ooh, next week, what? Wild Life Encounters. Yes, next Wednesday, we have Wild Life Encounters. Don't forget to give us a call or send us an email or text, and we can send you the connection for that. And some people can also Skype. Is he Skyping? Nope. He's got something going on with that. I'm not sure how he's doing it. Zoom? Zoom in? It's going to be a Zoom program. Zoom program, so you probably Zoom in. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but give us a call. We're finding out about that, and it's next Wednesday at 1. Have a great day, everybody. Hail to the Queen.